Welcome back. We take a serious turn now. A really important subject. Did you know that 15 to 20 percent of pregnancies end in a miscarriage? We're learning some strategies for working through that grief and how to really be a better friend to someone who has experienced a miscarriage. Joining us now is licensed counselor Pam Riedervelt. And Pam, nice to see you again. And I know, you know, when you talk about this subject, there's just so many different ways to go. So let's, I guess the important thing is, how do you begin dealing with that grief? Yeah, that's a great question. And most of the time when people come into the office and they say, I don't know where to begin. A real simple place to begin is to start telling your story. And one of the things that the brain science shows us is that 20 minutes a day of writing your story actually rewires the brain and promotes healing and prevents getting stuck in grief. So writing your story from start to finish is journaling. really powerful. Yeah, journaling. Another thing you recommend is finding a, what you call a safe friend. What does that mean? Yes, A safe friend that you know can hold a confidence and that isn't going to try to fix you mm -hmm. or make things all better or push you through the grief. I think uh, one of the things that we forget in this culture is that we're wired, we're created for connection. And one time when I was back in uh, New York City, right after 9-11, I was talking to this big group of airline personnel that had just lost their jobs and many people had lost loved ones. And there was a man from South Africa there and he made a comment that has stuck with me for years. He said, in your country, you have more money, you have more conveniences, you have more luxuries. In my country, we don't have those things, but when we're upset, we find a brother, we go cry on that brother's shoulders, we tell that brother what we're feeling, mm -hmm. and we feel better. But here, everybody wants to do it alone. If you do become a friend to someone in that situation, let's talk about the proper things to say, how you can build them up and make mm -hmm. them feel better. And I think a natural one is to say something like, you know, you're so strong, I know you're strong, you'll get through this. Yes. Not always the best thing? And often that's said with kindness and great compassion and great intention, but the person on the receiving end can feel very invalidated and feel like you're, you're trying to push them through uh, and minimize the heartache and the grief of this baby that they just lost. So better to say, I, I know this isn't what you were hoping for and I'm yeah. just so sorry. Another one, which I can imagine this would be so hurtful is when someone says, you're young. You can try again. And that's so common, Yeah, very matter of fact. And while that is factual, <laughs> it doesn't help the emotional heartache that's going on at the time. Right. So to, to acknowledge that suffering and that heartache that often is, is held in silence. Is it okay to share your experience? You know, say you've had a miscarriage, yeah. is it okay? Or does that sort of, I don't know, reduce the importance of theirs, I, I don't know. It, it's a great question, and, and I think, yes, I think that's really helpful to know that we're not alone, but probably secondary to listening to their story first, letting them mm -hmm. kind of get out what's going on on the inside of them, and if there's that entry point, absolutely share your story. So what, we've talked about some of the things maybe not to say, but what do you mm -hmm. recommend you do say? Because that is a really tough subject and you want to offer your support and let them know you're thinking of them. You bet. And so just something as simple as, I, I heard that you lost your baby and I'm so sorry. I love you. I'm here, from you, here for you. If there's anything that I can do to help, please let me know. I don't want to be invasive, but I do want you to know that I'm here. I know, Pam, you have an online course that you're starting um, this week yes. uh, for women who are going through this loss, mm -hmm. and they can find out more at myemptyarms.com. Yes. Appreciate you coming by today. Always nice to yeah. see you, Pam. Thank you Pam, so much. I appreciate you. you taking time for this important subject. Absolutely. We'll be right back. <laughs>